Hey everyone, welcome to Kempner Canucks. My name is Rev Trev and Bluger is back. Now, some of you are going to be like, Trev, you're getting a little too excited for Teddy Bluger. I am not getting too excited because this is the kind of guy and this is the kind of price you need to pay to compete in the NHL. Listen, there were four guys that I wanted back from uh, four, three. I wanted Zadorov. I wanted Bluger, I wanted Shilovs, and I wanted um, Myers to come back. I mean, we can still lose Myers, it's fine. I think he's coming back. These are the guys, the pieces that if you bring back, you're going to be super impressed with. Because Teddy Bluger, for $1.8 million for the next two seasons, this is, a, is perfect. He made $1.9 last year, coming to Vancouver, okay? He could have made 2.5. You get him for less than what you had him last year and less than what his probably his fair market value. There are no centers, hardly any centers available in free agency. Teddy Bluger is perfect for the Vancouver Canucks. Already knows the system. Coach Rick Tockett already loves him. Uh, played significant minutes. Played on that third line that was absolutely, which I called the lifeline with Joshua and Garland. He can play third line center and or, or fourth line center, no problem. One point eight million, no problem. You need guys like this. The reason why not only is he can play center, but he's a great defensive forward and he plays incredibly on the penalty kill, and that is absolutely crucial if you want to make the playoffs and then to make some noise in the playoffs. Uh, I was so impressed by his um, uh, penalty kill. Over and over. How many times did he tip the puck and it shot it over the glass? And it, it was awesome. It was awesome. He is the kind of player you want to bring back. So he's the third line center right now. Um, he can play fourth line center, no problem. But if you look at it, I don't think we're bringing Joshua back. Even though I'd love to have Joshua back, we're not bringing him back. But who we are bringing back that's very important is... Um, is is Bluger and Garland's already there, right? So that's incredible news. But I think you're going to put Pod Colson, Bluger, and Garland together, and that's going to be our third line. Maybe they put Lecker Mackey there instead of Pod Colson and, and get him some reps and some time. I am so excited about this signing. Um, today I was sitting there going, today's a good day. Today's a good day to have a sign. I had this feeling the Canucks were going to do something today. Today is... It's Wednesday. I was driving my vehicle, um, just had a, a work meeting, and I'm driving back to my office, and all of a sudden, I'm listening to uh, to the radio station, and they, they said that we just signed Bluger. I'm like, I'm pulling over, and I'm doing a video, because this is absolutely crucial to the small, it's a small detail that is important to the, the team's success. I love it that Teddy Bluger is back. I loved how hard he played. I mean, for for um, for what he brings to the table, I love it. I love it. Now, it does say, like, because I was kind of surprised that we haven't done all these little deals yet. Why Why isn't, um, so, you know, it's like we're talking about Zdorov and Gensel or maybe Stamkos or Reinhardt or these big name, bigger name people, but it's like the small ones we need. Like, we need the Shilovs, uh, Arthur Shilovs to sign. Right, we want that one to to go. We want to know what's going on there. We we want to know: Are we bringing back Bluger? Because then, if we don't, who's going to play those spots? Is Suter coming down playing the third C, and they're going to get another um, a winger for uh, Besser and Miller? Like, what's actually going to happen? And so that's really important stuff to know these smaller ones because it helps shape the team. Say, okay, this is what we're doing. One point eight million. Come on, everyone. I thought he was going to get two, which, I mean, it's to say, I mean, $200,000 to him might not be a lot. That's a lot of money for me. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe for you as well. But I, I'm really pumped. 1.8, you got him for the next two years. You know exactly what kind of player you got. And uh, I'm pumped. But who do you think should be on that line? Because is it gonna, who's going to be on that left? Is it going to be Pod Colson? Is it going to be Lecker Mackey? Post in the comments. Um, but he can play with Garland. We know he can play with Garland. That's going to be great. Um, even if we don't trade Mikheyev and we still end up playing him, he can play with Bluger as well, right? So th 
there's there are options here that Bluger brings stability. He's a great center, not a great, sorry. He's a good center. He's a solid center. He doesn't score a lot of points. We know that. But even when he chips in, I mean, that, that line scored a lot more than anyone is anticipating. So he can play great with Garland. You give him another left winger, and, and they make some noise. you got to have more than two lines to make some noise in the NHL. And uh, I, am, I am really pumped about this. Uh, again, I think a lot of you are going to be like, Trevor, like you're talking about a 3C here, a 4C. You shouldn't be. I, I think these are really important pieces to making it really competitive. So, of course, post in the comments what you think. Are you excited to have him back or is it kind of a meh? You know, you don't really care, but I care. I care a lot about this signing. I am. I, I, I just feel like all the pieces are going to be coming together in the next couple of days. We've got, we've got the NHL drafts coming up this weekend. We've got free agency that's on Monday. By the way, I'm going to be pumping out a ton of content. So make sure you're hitting that like and subscribe. Follow the channel for more details. Because uh, when things break, I want to be doing content on Monday. Um, depending on who we pick up, I'm going to be going. I might be going. I'm probably going live the moment we do some stuff. So uh, I just need to make graphics and get them all ready to go. I have a graphic ready for when Zadorov re-signs with Vancouver. I'm telling you, I'm still confident that he's coming back. I know they're trying to move Mikheyev in order to bring him back and get some, some uh, forward depth. I get that. But I am so, so excited, everyone, for what's coming up ahead. I do think that Joshua is out the door, though. Unfortunately, even though we love him, we, we just love how he plays. He's going to get big money somewhere else. I mean, Zadorov might as well, but Lindholm, you know, they offered him 7 million times 7. I think that was a really fair offer. Like, he hasn't really put up the points and the production. Like, yeah, he had a great playoffs. He did not have a good regular season with us. And he honestly, in all honesty, he didn't have a very good uh, regular season with... Um, uh, with Calgary either, like if we're if we're completely honest. So yeah, I I know that Lynn Holmes gone, but you can take that money and try to get a Gensel or a Reinhardt or a Stamkos or a Marcia So I think that would be better use of that money if he's not going to stick around. But this team is is in a win now mode. They want to compete now, and so you got to bring people in that are going to be difference makers and signing a guy like Teddy Bluger for 1.8 million gives you the flexibility to fill the roster, have effective play and go and get the big boys. So again, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. I got tons of content coming out soon and hope you have a fantastic day. And of course, always everyone go Canucks go.